Good morning, everybody. Grab that cup of coffee, but it's going to take a little longer to drink it today because we got an excellent video coming up right now. Where's my dog today? Uh, I've already put him up. We're about ready to pull out of here. We're waiting for Charlie and Cassandra going to catch up with us. I don't know if they're going to drive with us all day. I know she ain't going to want to go 62 miles an hour. We go 60 to 62 miles an hour all day. But this is day seven, and we will be there uh, in Pineville, Louisiana by tonight. We got 307 miles to go, so we got to stop and get some fuel somewhere, and uh, then we'll be there <laughs> in, you know, six hours or so. Whatever, but there's no wind. Thank goodness, so far. And the skies are cloudy, which I don't mind. Uh, cloudy skies. As uh, long as it ain't raining. And it ain't blowing. That works for me. But this is a nice campground. Uh, bar, bar, uh, whatever that says. Brazos. Brazos RV camp. It's like 20 bucks a night. Uh, one night stay for 20 bucks, then you got to pay full the next night. So we only spent 60 bucks being here. Uh, I can't in impress on you guys enough to uh, check out that uh, Patreon, uh, that uh, uh, Passport America thing. I'll put a link on here. It won't be on here right now because I'm not home. Once I edit all these and put them on here, it may be here by the time you YouTube see it, people see it. Right now, uh, I'm sending this out to the Patreon people live, so they're getting all this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I like the campground. It's clean, quiet. You just throw your trash out front in a, in a container, naturally, in a bag. And then they come by and they pick it up. And uh, it's got grass, quiet. Uh, the train track's right, well, you can see the freeway over there. The train track is between the freeway and the cars there, and... I didn't even hear it last night. I think it, of course, we're getting kind of used to them trains. But anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to send this off to the Patreon people, and you guys on YouTube will get it soon, too. Bye. Well, this is day seven. Uh, still in Texas. We're coming up to the town of Crockett. But we're on a tight schedule. I don't know if we're going to stop and see any museums or not. But I guess Crockett is where he was born or grew, grew up or something. Well, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. What is it? Daniel Crockett? Daniel Boone. Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett, yeah. Sing that song for me, will you, Vicky? I don't even know the song. Davy, Davy Crockett. Yeah, you don't even King know of the frontier. That's about all I know. Anyway. That's Charlie and Cassandra up there in the pickup, not the car that just zoomed by. We're following them on over to, way, uh, to their house. Going to stop here at Crockett and get some fuel, been on the road, and that'll be about 100 miles so far. we got about 300 miles to go, so that's about a third of the way there. But this is Texas again. <laughs> oh, again. Texas is a big place. So, uh, wanted to show you this. This would be the eastern side of Texas. We're only, what do we got, about 60 miles less of Texas or something. It ain't much left. I'll show you Louisiana when we get there. But it sure is green and pretty here. Uh, we're taking the back roads because Charlie knows them. I think he used to run moonshine down these roads or something. <laughs> Still like that part. Well, we're gonna go up a hill. You won't be able to hear me. The motor is gonna go wide. Well, we pulled into Crockett. Thought we'd show you the town. Little old town, little old streets. I can just picture Davy Crockett walking down these streets here. Wait a minute, they probably weren't here, huh? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. We're just following that Ford right there in front of it. I guess the ranch came. They just got that truck. It's nice. That's what we were riding around in yesterday. Little town, yeah, Bella. 
Pretty cool little town in Texas. Davy Crockett Drug. I bet everything's named Davy Crockett. There's Davy Crockett standing on the corner, right there. Yeah. Greetings from Crockett, Texas. Hopefully we can find fuel in this town. I think they know. They became they they they've been through here before. Pretty cool old church right there. Bet that's beautiful in there with the lights coming through them windows. seen it that was crockett there's more but that's a good good idea what it looks like well we didn't stop at any uh museum in davy crockett but this right here is the davy crockett national forest ah, can you imagine back in the day that there were no trees like this everywhere no clearings and you had to walk through them to get to where you're going People back then were a lot tougher than they are now. We did fill up with fuel back there at Crockett and we stopped at our very first Whataburger. And my God, what a burger! That was good. We didn't have the burger, but we had a uh, biscuit uh, sausage sandwich and egg. Oh my, best one I've ever had. Vicky's over here bunching down on a bacon one and she, she's got her mouth so full she can't even speak. She's just cramming it in there. <laughs> I told a fib. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, this is uh, the Davy Crockett National Forest. Uh, about 220 miles to go or so for the day. Looks like we're going to be pulling into Charlie's house tonight at about 4 o'clock or later. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you right now. That's it. Well, we 
we just left Texas. That right there ahead of us is Louisiana. I thought I'd mention one thing we're going to do over here is we're going to get on a flat the bottom boat and see something. I don't know what. Charlie's got it figured out. We'll probably see alligators and we're going to go through the bayous and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, got a lot of stuff planned, but we're about a hundred miles away from our destination today, which is going to be our home for a couple weeks, maybe, and uh, explore the Louisiana Territory. We've never been there before, but this should be a sign down here. That looks like a lake more than a reservoir. They called it a creek, though, didn't they? Or they called it a reservoir? So we definitely got it. 
and uh, we are about 44 miles away from our destination on the voyage to Louisiana. That's where Charlie Blood lives. Yeah, he lives in a mansion down here. I don't know if I'll show it to you. What is it? About a 40 room mansion? With yeah, I don't like to brag about that. I don't like to keep that under wraps. <laughs> anyway, guys, hey, we're having a good trip. Hang in here. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff from Louisiana for sure. Well, what a nice little spot we've got here. We are, yeah, at Charlie's house. The toads parked in the, even in the garage. And we had planned on just staying in the RV, but they have such a nice house. And they got a bedroom all set up for us. Private bathroom. Wow. Yeah, I'll take a break from sleeping in that. I mean, that's okay, but you know. Whew. Yeah, that's a nice place. Look at the yard. And it got back out back here too. Nice, nice place. And uh, we had a good trip here. I'm going to fire this off to you guys right now if I can. Uh, probably not. Not going to be able to because it's too long already. So I'm going to save this and hook it on to a, uh, a later on video maybe. Maybe I'll send it out on the old YouTube. We'll see. You'll know in a second now, won't you?